Hello and welcome to Anaheim Elementary School District State Preschool Program. This step-by-step -step guide will help you prepare for your child's registration and be ready at the time of your appointment. It is very important that you complete and sign every document in the packet before your appointment. If you have any questions about the documents, it is best to contact our office and speak with a family service assistant before your appointment. You may also receive support at the time of your appointment, however, incomplete information or missing documents may result in rescheduling your appointment and your child will be placed back on the wait list. Please feel free to fast forward, rewind, or pause the video at any time. Ready? Let's begin. The cover sheet of your packet is an easy to use eligibility verification checklist. Please be ready to present all of the following documents that pertain to you and your family at the time of your appointment. Please use this sheet as a guide to help you check off the documents you have prepared and ensure that you are ready for your appointment. The first checkbox is the proof of income. Please be ready to provide the following. One month of recent and consecutive proof of income must be provided for all members of the immediate family in the household. Income consists of any money coming into the home, such as paycheck stubs, letter for cash aid, letter for food stamps, child support, disability, unemployment, rental income, workers' compensation, retirement benefits, student grants or loans, etc. The most recent income will be your household income one month prior to your appointment date. Consecutive means your paycheck stubs or proof of income must follow one another in uninterrupted order with no gaps in time between them. If you get paid in cash or have your own business, you must obtain and complete the self-certification of income form. The self-certification form is a golden rod color and can be picked up at our ECE office at 2000 West Ball Road. If you get paid in cash and have a supervisor, please complete the top portion of the form. You, the employee, must sign at the bottom of the form. Your employer must also sign and date the form. If you own your own business or are self-employed, please complete the bottom portion of the form and please do not forget to sign at the bottom. The second checkbox is proof of family size. Please provide original birth certificates for all of your children to verify your family size. If you do not have original birth certificates, you may also provide one of the following documents. A court order regarding child custody, adoption documents, records of foster care placement, school or medical records, county welfare department records, or other reliable documentation indicating the relationship of the child to the parent. The third checkbox is the physical exam of the child you are enrolling. You receive the light blue form from our office. Your child's doctor must complete and sign the form. Your child's physical exam must be no more than one year from the date of your registration appointment. If your child's physical exam from the previous year has not yet expired, you may bring in the information from that physical signed and dated by your child's doctor. The fourth checkbox is the immunization record for the child you are enrolling. Please be sure that your child's vaccines are up to date as listed on the form. State law will not allow us to enroll your child if any vaccines are missing. If your child's immunization record is not current, he or she will not be enrolled in the program and you may be placed back on the wait list. The fifth checkbox is the immunization record for the adult volunteer. According to Senate Bill 792, it is mandated that daycare centers like ours must obtain vaccination records of Tdap, MMR, and TB for all volunteers in the classroom. The person who will be volunteering in the classroom must be at least 18 years of age and submit proof of the listed vaccine records on the form. Adults will not be allowed to volunteer if they have not submitted verification of these vaccines. The last checkbox is for special needs. 
This does not apply to all families. However, if your child has been identified with special needs and or is receiving any type of special services, please provide us with a copy of that documentation. For example, an IEP, also known as an Individualized Education Plan. Now, let's continue through your packet and complete the remaining forms. This is the permanent record card. This is a white card that must be completed in its entirety to ensure that you have provided the necessary information. This is a permanent record of your child's educational history, which will follow him or her throughout their education. Please be sure to read and answer each question and ensure that you have signed and noted your relationship to the child at the bottom of the front page. Please do not complete the backside. Next is the emergency card. This is a blue form that must be completed in its entirety to ensure that you have provided the necessary information. Please be sure to read and answer each portion of this form and include a minimum of three additional emergency contacts, not including the parent or guardian. If you would like to include more than three people, please request an additional emergency contacts form. The emergency card will be given to your child's teacher before the first day of class and it will be kept in the classroom at all times. We will use this card in case of an emergency to contact parents and those listed as emergency contacts. It is very important that you provide as much information as possible and if there is ever a change to this information, please communicate those changes to your child's teacher and to our enrollment office as soon as possible. Next is the Employer Contact Release Form. Please complete all sections of the form that apply to you. Only the working adults must complete the form. If you are not employed, you must not sign the form. If both parents or legal guardians are working, then both parents or legal guardians must sign and complete the form. By completing the form, you are giving permission to the Anaheim Elementary School District California State Preschool Program to contact your employer and verify your current employment status. Next is the acknowledgement of forms required by licensing and volunteer statement of good health. Please read, sign, and date the form. By signing the form, you affirm that you have been personally advised and have received a copy of the agreements and rights listed at the time of your child's admission to his or her school site and that you can physically mentally and occupationally perform the duties assigned to you as a volunteer. This is a photography video opt-out form. Please complete and return the form only if you do not give permission for your child to appear in school publicity images, yearbooks or videos, including postings on the school or district websites, and social media. Please keep in mind that photos of your child will be needed primarily for assessment documentation. Your teacher will be using an online portfolio to document your child's progress daily through photos and videos, and it will be used for assessment purposes only. If you sign the form, your teacher will not be able to use photo or video documentation for the assessment process. You will need one form for each enrolling child. Next is the Home Language Survey. The California Education Code requires schools to determine the language or languages spoken at home by each student. Please complete this form to the best of your ability and please sign at the bottom. This is a child's pre-admission health history. This is a turquoise colored paper. In order for us to be able to offer the highest quality of service for your child, this information is very important to us. Please be sure to complete and answer all of the questions on the form. The completed form will enable staff to have a better understanding of your child's needs. The consent for screenings and observations is next. Please fill in your child's full name, date of birth, and sign and date the form. By doing so, you are giving consent for your child to be screened for the tests that are listed on this form. Next is a golden rod form titled Success for All. 
Please complete the form by checking off your living situation that applies to your family, and please sign and date the form. By doing so, the form assists school personnel in complying with the legal guidelines for school enrollment for all children who meet eligibility criteria for services provided under the McKinney-Vento Assistance Act. Next is the California School Immunization Record. Please complete only the top portion on the front of this form. Our school readiness nurses will complete the bottom portion. It is very important that you do not sign the back of this form. This is a health history form. This form provides important information about your child's health history and helps our school nurses to better understand your child's needs. Please answer all questions to the best of your ability. Please keep the last forms in your packet. Your copies include the caregiver background check process, personal rights, parent rights, admissions agreement, and child and adult care food program letter. You do not need to sign or return this packet. It is a copy for you to keep. This now concludes the guide to assist you in ensuring your packet is complete and be ready for your appointment. If you have any questions about any portion of the packet, please contact our enrollment office at 714-517-7125 or we can assist you at the time of your appointment. Don't forget, please be prepared with the appropriate and necessary documentation at the time of your appointment to ensure that you are not put back on the wait list. We appreciate your time and thank you for your interest in the State Preschool at the Anaheim Elementary School District. We look forward to working with you this coming school year.